come to sign uh, this essential motion for removal of commissioners, I want to firstly appreciate colleagues who are spearheading this. Uh, the Honorable Theodore Kubo, Honorable Sarah Opendi, who are joined for logic, uh, by Honorable Patrick Nsamba, Honorable Seungu, and others. This is very imperative. And uh, for us in NEV, it vindicates us because um, when we raised an alarm over this issue regarding our commissioner, some people thought this is an internal party fight. And they kept saying, wait a minute, why are you digressing from the critical issue of money that people sat and irregularly awarded themselves? So we are vindicated because this clearly shows it's not an internal party fight of NUP. Honorable Sechikovo does not belong to the NUP. Neither does Honorable Sarah Obedi and the other dozens of members of parliament that have signed. What happened is an irregularity. For colleague leaders to sit and award themselves money, millions of shillings, 500 million shillings, 400, 400, they would have been vindicated if they had suggested it as a proposal in that meeting, taken it through the relevant committee, legal and parliamentary affairs, and then brought it on the floor of parliament for discussion. Because what some of them were saying, but you see, uh, Vice President, Speaker, Prime Minister, and so on, they all get benefits when they're out of parliament. Those benefits were discussed on the floor of parliament. Even when some of us disagree with the entirety of all those benefits, but at least they were passed on the floor of parliament. This particular service award, where was it passed? For people to sit quietly among themselves, and they do it in a very hasty manner. I was at a function in Kalungu a couple of weeks ago where the Prime Minister, Right Honorable Robin Anapanja, came for the same function. And when I was pressing her about Mabati theft, she said, But uh, look, why do you keep calling me a thief? Did you see me among those who sat in a commission meeting and awarded themselves money, even when she's a member of the commission? So even her, she seemed to have been pointing fingers at her colleagues to say, But this was problematic. I did hear the Deputy Secretary General of the NRM, the Honorable Rose Namayanja, who spoke out about this very issue in the past couple of days, and she said this was wrong. And that's good. You see, on matters to do with taxpayers' money, as I have always said on the floor of Parliament, we need to detach our parties. You know, when we are discussing matters of taxation, budget, and so on, I kept telling colleagues in the NRM that, look, let, let's think about our constituents. Let's think about the health centers in those constituencies, think about the roads, the infrastructure, and so on. They are not any better in your constituency. And, and I'm glad that people are waking up to that reality. So this that was done is wrong, and that's why we are signing this central motion to show that, no, once an illegality happens, there must be sanctions. There must be something that happens as a result of an irregularity. So, completely vindicates us and I would like to encourage our colleagues. Parliament is currently in recess, so some colleagues are